started calling me Snake, and uh, it has uh, it has stuck to say the least. Been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> How much sleep do you need to go play three hours? I don't really need an awful lot of sleep. And I would read the game plan by the light of the jukebox sometimes. Far right, 89 turn in, 9 in on one. Change the plays in the huddle. Change the play after the snap. <laughs> Wherever he was, whatever he was doing, he was winging it. He was freewheeling. He was gunslinging, and he lived life the same way. Ken Stabler played in the NFL for 15 years and was front and center in some of the greatest games in NFL history. Games with names, Snake was always cool. From the ghost to the post, to the holy roller. You roll it out there and, you know, this ball comes loose in the course of the sack and Pete Banizak dives at it at about the, I don't know, seven or eight yard line, knocks it down inside the five and Casper comes along and inadvertently kicks it three times. <laughs> Snake was never rattled. He was at his best when the score and the clock were against him. Then came the snake and Kenny Stabler hissed passes. Everybody knew if we kept it close, Kenny would find a way. jumping up and down and yelling and screaming. The fans are going crazy, and he can stand over there on the sideline and, and just be as calm as he is during the week, and I could never understand that. I don't, that's amazing. Despite damaged knees that limited his running, Stabler led the league in touchdown passes in 1974. He received his NFL Most Valuable Player Award in primetime. Stabler threw for nearly 28,000 yards, fired 194 touchdown passes, and was named to the 70s All-Decade Team. He was an NFL MVP, and in 1976, he led the Raiders to their first Super Bowl win. Throughout his life, Stabler had to overcome tough third and longs, on and off the field. In the end, that's what made his football life unlike any other. The proper function of a man is to live, not exist. I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. In 1976, it was Stabler's time. Too many third alongs will make you sleep on your side of the bed. You know, you're gonna get knocked around. A fourth and ten do or die, and suddenly Stabler was in the sights of number 75, mean Joe Green. But the snake is slippery. On July 8th, 2015, Kenneth Michael Stabler passed away. He was laid to rest in his hometown of Foley, Alabama. He was 69. He really was a badass. I mean, a <laughs> badass football player. He was a man before his time, but I also think he's one of a kind, and he will certainly be missed. Nick Stabler. Just remember how great the snake was. The big games, he was big. Tough games, he was tough. The hot games, you know, when it really got heated, he was the coolest guy in the field. And I always.
always said that if I had one quarterback to make a drive the length of the field at the end of the game to win that game, that guy would be Ken Stable, number 12, the snake. I just want to say, Snake, thanks for the memories. We miss you, we love you, and we'll see you in the Hall of Fame. For Ken the Snake Stabler, his spirit will live on in the hearts of Raider Nation forever. Farewell, number 12. Son, you make me feel so proud. Pop the buttons right off my shirt. Now, I know I promised to take you to the lake today, but I won't have to break that promise. It really hurts. Every time I go fishing, it always starts me wishing that I could be a child again. Take my 50 cents and go Down to the local picture show To watch my heroes rope and ride Most times they win, but when they lose It always made me cry Ain't nothing quite as sad As watching your heroes one by one and as they fall soon there'll be no heroes at all well I guess the fish just ain't back just as well, because I don't feel like fighting. All in all, it just ain't that great a fishing day. That old newspaper headline kind of wrapped around this old heart of mine. Another big one got away. And I can't count the time she's made me laugh. Time he's made me cry, and there ain't nothing quite as sad as watching your heroes die one by one.